you'll discover this enormous and fascinating sea inlet. Loch Foyle is a huge bay, 30 kilometers long and 10 kilometers at its widest point. Although quite shallow on the eastern side, there is a marked shipping channel running along the western side of the loch. The entrance lies between County Donegal to starboard and on the port side, the gigantic sweep of McGilligan Strand. 10 kilometers of golden beaches and soaring sand dunes. This well-managed and designated blue flag beach at Benone is popular throughout the year. It's host to a range of activities. These include shore angling, power kiting, bodyboarding. Further east is the Mussenden Temple. This was built by the Bishop of Derry in 1785. It's perched dramatically on a 40 meters cliff top high above the Atlantic Ocean on the northwestern coast of Northern Ireland. There are spectacular views westward towards McGilligan Point and County Donegal. Visitors can reach this area by travelling along the Causeway Coaster Route. This is recognised internationally as one of the most spectacular road journeys in the world. The western shore of the loch is bounded by the mountainous Inishowen Peninsula. This offers shelter to the fishing fleets in the ports of Carrickarory, Moville and Greencastle once a stronghold of the Normans. At each side of the lock entrance, there are ancient Martello Towers, one at McGilligan and one opposite at Greencastle. There was once a series of Martello Towers around the British Isles, built 200 years ago as protection against Napoleon's invasion forces. Today, it's a peaceful scene as a ferry carries tourists and local people across the lock. Sailing is extremely popular. Lock Foil Yacht Club races foil punts, a traditional clinker built boat used by fishermen in years gone by. The club operates from Culmore Fort at the mouth of the River Foyle and there is a well-established training programme for younger sailors. The Moville Boat Club caters for keel boats. Each year it runs a series of sea races to Scotland and to other ports on the north coast. Whether you're participating or spectating, there's no shortage of excitement in Loch Foyle. The north coast has some wonderful surfing areas. It's particularly noted for its variety, with waves to suit everyone from the beginner to the more advanced enthusiast. This is an angler's paradise. Whether your interest lies in freshwater or sea fishing, there is an enormous range of opportunity. Charter boats are available for deep sea fishing for more than 20 species, including conger, gurnard, pollock, place and John Dory. One of the specialities of the area is wreck fishing. There are more than a hundred wrecks in the region and they've produced many specimen fish. The summer months see many foil anglers fishing for tope, a type of shark. The most popular locations for this speciality are Caldaf Bay and Inistrahull Sound. This spectacular coastline also provides splendid opportunity for watching whales, dolphins and basking sharks. Ashore, 
Benone Strand is a famous location for beach angling. Inland, the rivers feeding the foil hold healthy stocks of trout and salmon. There is a thriving mussel and oyster fishing enterprise in the loch, as well as a deep water fishing fleet. Their produce can be sampled at the many good restaurants in the area. One of the most exciting sports here is kayaking. Sea kayaking has become very popular. There's also plenty of opportunity for thrilling whitewater canoeing. Or perhaps you prefer more placid paddling on the many delightful stretches of river in the upper reaches of the river foil system. Approaching the city of Londonderry, also known as Derry, you'll see the train on the route of one of the great railway journeys of the world, featured in the BBC series. In the heart of the city, there are good moorings for pleasure craft. After the Second World War, the German U-boat fleet was moored in the city before being scuttled in deep water off the Irish coast. Twenty-four ancient cannons remind us of earlier wars. Derry is the only completely walled city in Ireland, and these eight meters high fortifications were built in the 17th century. Three times in the next 100 years, the city walls withstood siege. Today, the city has a rich cultural life with festivals throughout the year. There are splendid museums offering a chance to explore Derry's rich and sometimes turbulent history. St. Columns Cathedral is the city's oldest building. It's dedicated to the memory of the city's patron saint, St. Columba, also known as Column Kill. He left Ireland in the 6th century to establish his monastery in Scotland on the island of Iona. Today's sailors on Loch Foyle can feel themselves as close to the sea as did Columba 1400 years ago.